Hi, I'd just like to take a few minutes to talk to you about quality assurance issues when developing MOOCs in an institution and providing support to staff uh, developing MOOCs. In a way, this presentation is just some food for thought, some ideas that I'd like to present to you that you should consider in providing institutional services. The first one is avoiding excellence and tolerating flaws. If we're going for low cost production, we may not get everything we want in terms of excellence. The other thing is the idea of designing it into the workflow, that we will have certain processes there already. We want to get the most from them and the people who are involved in those processes that we can, rather than adding more to the process. And the third thing is about continuous improvement as opposed to quality checking. In other words, we're able to tolerate a certain amount of quality, but quickly improve it when we get feedback from users as a, as a route to getting nearer excellence. Okay, let's look at the concept of designing quality into the workflow. In other words, there's certain tasks that we could do in the workflow that would help ensure quality without adding other tasks to it. Okay, in training, if we have certification in training, we may have some guarantee that the staff members involved are capable of doing the work up to a certain level of quality, uh, quality and may not need to be checked. In instructional design, if we use templates, this may limit the variation in the design of a MOOC, but it may ensure that certain things are done up to a certain minimum quality level. Also, if a design of a course is produced, that this is checked by an instructional designer or in done in partnership with an instructional designer that may give some guarantee as to the quality of the course. The third thing is that uh, some of the content will be developed by a subject matter expert and may be passed on to an editor or a learning technologist. If that learning technologist has some level of expertise in presentation skills, uh, PowerPoint skills, certain things like that, they may be able to act as a quality check on the subject matter expert as they edit the videos and may be able to give feedback to the uh, expert, uh, subject matter expert on how they could improve or redo certain work. So they can act as a quality check as well. Okay, let's take a minute to talk about the concept of continuous improvement. This may often be called beta testing because what we may do is rather than try to produce a perfect product at the start, we issue it in less than perfect form to the public, maybe a limited number in the public and get them to identify the problems. Uh, this allows us to avoid wasting time looking for flaws that may not be there at all or fixing flaws that we think are flaws but users may not think are flaws. So we're looking at comparing continuous improvement versus quality checking. We could waste a lot of time on quality checking when users could identify the problems faster. And this process might go something like this, that we have surveys for them at the end of the course, directly ask them where the issues were. We may use the discussion forums to give us feedback on the course, or we may use analytics uh, within the platform that will give us data about where people were having problems. And from this, we will propose and implement improvements for our course. Thank you for listening to these few ideas on quality assurance in building a MOOC. See you in the next video. Bye.